Hello everybody, welcome back to another video of Fantastic Talks. Bring you back with another Dragon Ball Sparking Zero video for you guys today. Uh, this is going to be another sort of like uh, roster prediction of sorts for the game. Uh, now that we have like a a pretty rough idea of who we're meant to, who we're going to expect in, in the in the base game and who we're not going to expect as well. Uh, we know what who the DLC characters are going to be. There is some extra evidence pointing to the fact that we could be expecting characters from uh, Dragon Ball and possibly GT and hopefully a couple of movies more so than we thought uh, and not being safe of DLC. Uh, so I just sort of want to make a, a new uh, prediction roster I've come across on Twitter I've found. This roster is by uh, uh, Eom uh, Penenko on Twitter. I think I've done a prediction roster video on, on his uh, previous roster before, way back when, when everyone was predicting that... Uh, we were going to expect at least, at least over 200 characters, but that doesn't seem to be the case now. Uh, so that video is now kind of redundant. Uh, and it seems here that Ian Penenko, Ian Penenko has uh, done a completely new roster, going from the basis of what we know uh, so far, and what they, who they've confirmed and who they've not confirmed for the game, officially. So, this is probably going to be a quick video I'm going to do, a quick analysis I want to do, and sort of like, uh, go, sort of break this down a little bit, and... Uh, Go through the characters that have seem to be 100% confirmed, but also not exactly confirmed. And like, there's still a couple of characters I want. I kind of want to replace here, uh, considering of of what we now know uh, of the game, from what we've seen of the gameplays, from what we've seen of the new um, uh, character screen roster, uh, and of all the confirmed characters that have done have been confirmed so far uh, in the last few months. Ian Penico has done two different versions of this roster. This is the first one that he sort of put together and like including like all of like including forms and like uh, characters we haven't seen confirmed yet and this next one is who's been who's definitely been confirmed as well as most likely going to get confirmed uh but i i believe this version of the roster that uh, that is with, with, with majority of the characters hi highlighted in green we're going from the basis of uh all the characters that are 100 percent confirmed but there are characters here that are, that are definitely not confirmed yet, but will most likely will be in the game. Uh, at least we hope so. Uh, and like after re and after recent exclusive like demos we've seen and all that, uh, there there's also a possibility. Uh, for example, we have like Blue Evolution Vegeta here, and Rage Trunks down here. Uh, there is there is a there was a worrying piece of information that. Uh, Rage Trunks and Blue Evolution Vegeta won't be a separate character to play as. They'll just be uh, a skill you can you can um, power up from as you're fighting. Uh, I think it's like called a, bl a blast um, skill, which kind of makes sense. I can understand why they're doing it that way, because I, I guess there's not mi really much of a difference in terms of how they fight, apart from like Rage Trunks and his like and his Spirit Sport Spirit Sword um, move sets and stuff. Uh, same with Blue Evolution Vegeta, except for his like. Um, gamma burst flash and stuff like that, but like they don't really have that much of a difference in how they fight. So obviously it's the same with Kai Ken Goku. Kai Ken is a is a power up you can do in the game. He's not really a separate character to play as. So so that's probably how we're gonna be playing as these versions of the characters. Uh, so it's kind of a cl clever way to to put them in. Uh, without having to add them on the actual base roster. So in the way they are confirmed. Just not in the uh, in the roster, so it's going to be most likely the same case as Ultra Instinct Goku, which is a bit worrying because there's so much more he can do in, in both versions of the forms. Uh, so we're most likely going to get base Ultra Instinct Goku, and Master Ultra Instinct Goku is just going to be a power up you can do as a skill. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that, but that's probably going to be the case. Uh, but we, but I will. So if we take Master Ultra Instinct Goku off. Along with Rage Trunks and Blue Evolution Vegeta, there's three. That's three extra character slots that are free there, uh, because a couple of characters here that I kind of want to add in and replace here. We don't know if Dabu has been confirmed here yet, uh, and I, I I doubt Spopovich and y Yumi Yami. I can't remember what his name is. I I doubt they'll come back. I'd be very surprised if they are. Some of Frieza's forms haven't been confirmed yet either, but they will most likely uh, be included as well. It'd be a bit weird if they're not, because uh, they had some big fights with Piccolo and Gohan. Same for Second Form Cell. I don't think we've seen Second Form Cell yet. So the only per only Perfect Cell and Super Perfect Cell. So uh, there's 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 a few characters here that 
are highlighted green under the assumption that they are going to they're 100 percent confirmed, but they're not, they're not yet. We're just assuming they're going to be in it, which is most likely going to be the case. They're, they're kind of the obvious uh, forms of the characters we're going to see, including the Boa and like the get and the Guinea Force as well, because because it's weird we haven't seen. I mean, Guldo, I'm not surprised we haven't seen yet. Uh, but even with Kuma and Ginyu, I thought we would have seen by now. So I assume if they've got, they've already got Berta and G Senate confirmed already. Most likely, the rest of the Guinea Force are going to confirm. So that they they will most likely get confirmed. So we can green light them. Uh, we haven't seen anything of of uh, Dodoria and Zarbon yet. Uh, so I don't know why they're highlighted as well. But they probably will get confirmed too. But I just for some reason I they seem unlikely now. I don't know why. I kind of hope not. I kind of hope they do come back. Um, but Seriously, uh, just just before I sort of get into detail of this roster, this could be how we see the roster most likely. Not with with the confirmation of like superhero and like Dharma being confirmed as DLC, so that means we're probably not going to get Gohan Beast and Orange Piccolo and like Gamma in this uh, on this base roster just yet. Uh, we know Gam the Gamma androids are going to be DLC anyway, so Cell Max isn't isn't on this roster roster either, which it, which is which is kind of good because it seems. Because it seems to be, because it could mean there's still, there's still hope for GT and a few, a, at least a few movie characters to still be in the base roster. So there's still hope. And considering that there's a, I'm probably going to repeat myself here, because uh, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people have said this already. There is evidence that GT will most likely be in the base roster. Going going from the basis of the the original uh, teaser trailer of Sparking Zero before it was named Sparking Zero. Um, when they when they were showcasing Budokai Tenkaichi three in the, in the little screen they had, and uh, it was showcasing Goku's like sort of like um, evolution and some of the I think I think some of the other characters, but it it, it definitely showed Goku's um, development as a, as a Super Saiyan, and that included Super Saiyan four at the right at the very end before they announced uh, the big reveal. So they haven't forgotten that he's he's had that form before, and like I, I mean and he's he's kind of he's and Super Saiyan four is pretty big right now in draggable heroes and stuff like that so uh that, that, it, that, it should hopefully mean that uh super saiyan 4 is definitely going to make its way to the base roster uh so there is definitely some room here because these are the like, so these because he, so all these characters from gt that haven't been highlighted yet i can see make it in the game uh so it's got you've got you have the obvious uh characters with gt goku super saiyan 3 super saiyan 1 3 and 4 Pan is most likely going to get confirmed as well. GT Vegeta, which which would be really nice. GT Vegeta hasn't really been in a Tenkaichi style game before, so it'd be really nice to see him in. He, only Super Saiyan 4 was in the original Ten, Tenkaichi game, uh, so it'd be really nice to see G, base GT Vegeta and Super Saiyan Vegeta. Uh, I guess you can get away with not putting Super Saiyan 2 in, I guess. Uh, I guess he wasn't really needed. Same with G GT Goku. Uh, he didn't really have Super Saiyan 2 in the original game. Uh, Baby Vegeta, all his forms there, including Great Egg Baby. Uh, so I, I can't wait to see how he how he plays and fights. Uh, considering how awesome normal Great Eight Vegeta looked in the de demo exclusive that came out, uh, so I cannot wait to see how his Gallic gun mo uh, looks like. It like when he's in the sky, hopefully, and shooting that down at, uh, at the opponent. So that's gonna be really cool. Hopefully, he does make it through to the base game. Of course, Super Seventeen, and we've got the obvious Omega Shenron. Uh, I'm hoping I can find a way to fit. Uh, Nova and Ice Shenron here, uh, but we'll get, I'll get onto that in a minute. Um, we know that uh, Basil and La Lavender are in it, but are they playable? We've seen them in Bogamo's uh, team move, obviously, the, the ultimate attack that he, that he does together, but whether they're playable or not is a different story. I don't think they've been confirmed to be playable, and they, mo mo they will most likely be just part of uh, Bogamo's moveset. I hope that's not the case, but let's just, let's just say they're not going to be. We might remove the uh, Basil and Lavender altogether, and uh, replace them with a couple more, couple more new characters if we're, if they're just going to be a, a move set. We know Base Jiren is definitely confirmed because we've seen him in some of the trailers. I don't know why he wasn't highlighted. Uh, might have been just something forgotten. Um, obviously, and, and obviously full power Jiren. Hopefully, God of Destruction Topo is confirmed. Surprising, we haven't seen Frost yet, uh, and not even Kaba as well. Kaba is not confirmed yet. I thought he would have been confirmed by now, uh, considering we've seen like uh, Khalifa, Kale, and Kefla, and of course we've got Kakunsa as well. So we're still waiting on confirmation of Wibian and uh, still keep forgetting this woman's name. 
I still can't remember the other member of Ribbian's team. <laughs> um, they, see, they, these three were most likely to get confirmed, and and if we're going going by, by the fa basis of because uh, there was like a recent interview to do with the producer of the game, I think it was an in an interview in China by IGN, uh, and and the information that was sort of uh, explained here was they were going. How they went through picking which character would make their way through, make their way into the base roster, uh, pu was purely going on the fact of uh, how active a character is in the original work. Um, if more of a character a appeared, the more likely they were going to be included in the selection list. Furthermore, since the plots of previous games in the series mainly revolved around the World Martial Arts Tournament. Um, and there was a lot of tournament arcs, so uh, which hopefully means we are going to get some decent original Dragon Ball characters as well, since a lot of a lot of Dragon Ball involved the World Mar World Martial Arts tournament. Um, but not only that, they also took into consideration popular characters from the early, middle, and late stages of Dragon Ball GT. So they have been thinking about it, um, which hopefully means GT still has hope in making it into the base game. So I can believe that these characters that Pen and Co has uh, picked here for GT uh, will most likely be the ideal candidates for the best base roster. But if we take out, let's see who, we, let's see who we could take out. So if we, for example, since we know Rage Trunks and uh, Blue Evolution Vegeta is just a, a skill and not a separate uh, character to play as, we can immediately take them out and add in um, Nova and Ice Shenron. There's your two extra GT characters there. Just just to have Ice Shenron playable for the first time in a Tenkaichi styled game would be amazing. Uh, and to have Nova come back would be great as well. I guess we don't need Sin Shenron. I, I don't know who else I could take out here to add him in. I feel like Sin Shenron is kind of an important form too. Because um, Goku did fight him for a while in that form. when he teamed up, Especially when he teamed up with Nova to defeat him. I think. I'm not sure. Yeah. It was before he was up with the Dragon Ball. So, yeah. Uh, I think. I can't remember. Um, so, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I, I'm, I'm willing to take out Spopovich and even uh, Pure Evil Boo. I, I, I doubt. I, I don't know if he'll come back. I have, I just have a feeling he just won't come back, really. Uh, but, I mean... I didn't really expect Dr. Jiro to come back, to be honest, and I'm and I'm glad he did. And he and from the gameplay I've seen of him, he he looks so amazing to play. Um, so it's kind of 50-50 that pure Evil Boo will make will make it through. But in terms of who I prefer to have in, uh, I'm not really fussed about having Evil uh, Evil Boo in the game. So I'm gonna sort of take him out along with Spop along with Spopovich. Uh, and add in maybe Oceanus Shenron, or if we're going on the basis of uh, early GT, the fact that they mentioned that in the interview, early GT, I would say, is uh, when they were like going through from one planet to the other, uh, searching for the Dragon Balls, and you they and like early GT, I'd say it would be like kind of like Ledric, Ledric and uh, Rildo sort of like um, era, so. So I would like to add Le uh, Ledric and um, and like uh, Rildo here as um, as like extra GT characters we haven't seen before playable in the game. Uh, but with Rildo, uh, the problem is with Rildo, he's he's got two extra forms. Yeah, I'm not really sure who I could remove really. Uh, I know like Android Eight and uh, Ar Arali is are quite late lovable characters from Tenkaichi Three, but in terms of who I prefer. I would happily take those two out and add in real those two other forms. Um, I would. It, it, this is actually kind of difficult because I would. I wouldn't mind Teen Goku as well. I, I. I think Kid Goku has been confirmed. Going by going by the uh, leaked screen, the screenshot that someone came across um, in the. Uh, gameplay showcase they did a few days ago um there was there was there was a screen grab that what looked like kid goku in the in the image uh so he's probably he probably is confirmed i mean teen goku isn't really a huge issue um but i, w I, but I would like to keep demon king piccolo 
because there's a couple of mo extra movie characters I kind of want to add. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know who I, who else could take off. Cool. The all of cool, all of coolest forms. I, I hope gets get included. Uh, I don't even see Mecha Freezer here. I kind of would want Mecha Freezer to be in it, but I guess he's not really. He kind of is important just because of Future Trunks' first appearance, though. So I don't know how they do the story without him. Unless Mecha Freezer becomes an, an alternate uh, outfit for full pack for Final Form Freezer. I don't know how that would work, but um, I I would say take out Jacko. But he would be kind of a nice new new addition to the game. And I think he has most like I think he's possibly been confirmed because uh, there was a uh, skill set somewhere uh, someone came across. I can't remember where I, where I saw it. I think it was uh, something to do with. Uh, it had like a, the uh, Galactic Patrol in the in the name of the move set, so it, so that probably confirmed that uh, Jacko is confirmed in the in the game to be playable. So uh, I can't remember what the name of the name of the move is. Let me know in the comments below what it, what it is, guys, because I literally can't can't remember. See, I see So Junior on here, but I don't see Cyberman. Yeah, I don't see Cyberman anywhere. I I'm, I mean, I'm not first up. I, I wouldn't really play as him anyway. Not even So Junior, to be honest, but uh, yeah, I, I, he is So Junior. The So Juniors are really important, I guess. I know I've pro I'm probably sort of like um, contradicting myself from, in the part from the past videos I've done and not having So Junior and Cyberman in the ba base game, but um, yeah, I don't know who else I could remove because I would like to add because there's there's not enough giants in this roster. Seriously, there's only going to be great at Vegeta. Possibly Bogamo, if his if his uh, skill set is him turning giant, quick, uh, like uh, ever so shortly, um, and possibly great Vegeta, great great baby Vegeta, if he if he makes it to the makes it to, to the base game, that's it. There's no Doctor Wheeler, there's no Annie Raza, but but I don't know where where we could fit them because yeah, there's there's a majority of these characters that are are confirmed, but a lot of these characters. That aren't confirmed are most likely to be in the game. So this is kind of difficult. 16 will most likely make it, and if Jiro's already in it, 19 will definitely be in it. Uh, I hope Super Saiyan Bardock ma makes it through. That'd be really cool. Um, and I definitely would like to see Turles come back because I want to add Lord Slug to this roster. But again, I don't know where I could fit him. Janemba, I definitely want because uh, I want to reenact the. Um, his fight against uh, Gogeta and stuff. Now that we know Gogeta is in it, especially if I get to use uh, Dragon Ball Super's version of Gogeta, uh, and hopefully we get a uh, story element out of, of Janemba and Gogeta as well again. I love that Team Gohan is confirmed here as Super Saiyan 2. Oh, wait, no, he is. Yes, he is confirming. He was in a cutscene um, in one of the uh, previous trailers. So yeah, Super Saiyan 2, Team Gohan is definitely confirmed. So Team Gohan as a whole is confirmed. So base and Super Saiyan will definitely make it through. I mean, we've had restrained Broly in Xenoverse 2 lately, so he's definitely going to come in. Z Broly as a whole, I'm hoping is confirmed um, ever some more now because of uh, the recent um, Ultimate Attack of uh, Gohan and Goten that was that was just released as well. The uh, Brothers Kamehameha has uh, has made its return on this, so that and that was only used against Z Broly. So hopefully, Z Broly is confirmed. All of Broly's forms that we can definitely keep. Yeah, I don't know who else I could take out to uh, include Dr. Relo and uh, Lord Slug. I feel like those two would be a great addition. I just want another giant, uh, uh, Vaniyaza. So, yeah, I don't... Because these characters are, are... All of these characters are, are most likely going to be in the game. I can genuinely see it. This is a shame that most of these are forms. Yeah, so for, if I'm, I'm going to sum it up, I'd say... I'd, let me... I, I, I sort of... Uh, so I had a quick think. I'm going to just say this. So, if we take out Basil and Lavender, if they only, if it's going on the assumption that they're only going to be part of um, Bogomol's, um move set, we'll, we'll add uh, Rildo's two other forms uh, here, just just to just to place them there for a second, and uh, take out Spopovich, add in Ledric in there, take out Ray, take out Rage Trunks and Blue Evolution Vegeta, put in Nova and Ice in there. Uh, Take out, take out Mastered Ultra Instinct. I can already put in either Stin Shenron or Oceanus Shenron. 
Or if I want to add a movie character... I think Dr. Relo. I, I just want... I just there, just there just needs to be another giant. But if we're going by canon... I would say Aniwaza. I, I, this is so difficult. I think this is the best I could do because yeah, the, mo a lot, a lot of these characters, the characters I want in are really hard to fit. Because I, I want, I want all of Freezer's forms and I want all of Cell's forms. Because they were quite, they, they were, they were import, they were important to the story. Okay, yeah. If we take out, f screw it. We'll take out Android Eight and uh, Arali. Another, another fan favorites, but I, I'm, I'm not too keen on them to be honest. Uh, let so let's put in. Wheelow, let's put in we let's put so we could put in Wheelow and uh, Lord Slug there. Oh, but I really want Android 13 and stuff like that. Yeah, I think I think GT has a high chance of being in the base roster. If that if they if GT were, were is the one series of characters they're think thinking about putting in the ba base roster. So there's a there's a a high chance that some movie characters will get kept for base roster and s some will get cut for DLC. Uh, so hopefully after Superhero and Dime has been and gone, we will see like all the other movie, we will see a another batch of uh, DLC characters uh, that are based on the original movies. So like Android 13, Bojack hopefully, Full Power Garlic Jr would be really cool to see. Screw it, Bio Broly just for the sake of another giant. Um, speaking of giants, I don't even. I, I feel like Giant Janemba should be included in this too. But I, I guess he's doesn't have. I don't know. He's he's, he's so. He, this is tough. This is this is really tough. This is why I I was so hesitant in doing a proper DLC prediction roster because there's some characters here I could see make it through the base roster, but there's some characters that I really want in the base roster that is going to be hard to fit. Uh, and who would make for an, an ideal candidate for a, as a, D, a DLC roster? Because if, if most of the DLCs is going to be Superhero and Dimer, I don't know who else they could do after that, other than the ones I've just, I've just suggested in the, as a DLC. Uh, it depends if they would do a movie DLC. So uh, that's kind of the best I can kind of do for this roster prediction list, guys. Uh, so... I'm kind of just going to end this video here because this it is this because this is this has just been so difficult. Let me know in the comments below uh, what you think of this roster and is there anyone is there anyone here you 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 would prefer and change around a bit? Uh, is there anyone that you prefer to see that I suggested uh, or would there, is there anyone else you you prefer to see replace from what I suggested and prefer to see in DLC? Let me know in the comments below and until we get more news on Dragon Ball Sparking Zero on like what other characters we get to see and more gameplay. I will see you all next time in the next Dragon Ball Sparking Zero video. Do stay tuned because because I do have another video uh, in mind planned. I do plan on doing a uh, reaction and review on all the Super and Ultimate Attacks that have been uh, confirmed already. Uh, so do look out for that. Uh, I don't know when that's going to come out yet. I seem to plan when to record that. So, but it is definitely uh, in the making. So look forward to that. Until then, take care guys. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you all next time. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Take care guys. Bye bye.